Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 3 Blind. I'm your host, Lasan Fay, and um, I guess we need to talk Come to Hackett. Is something else you need? Um, or not? Nothing more, sir. I Keep me swear, Pack it out. The trainer said that you wanted to chat, but okay. Um, you're still here. Yay. Okay. Where the hell am I? to feed from Palavin? It's brutal. I'm amazed the turkeys are full. The birds don't quit when things get ugly. Alright. Um. Joker, do you have anything to say this time? You were a distraction, after all. So Jack's an instructor? I guess anyone who messes with biotic kids gets turned into a small stain on the floor and ceiling. Ooh, and that was Cerberus attacking the Academy. Man, that must have been like Christmas for her. <laughs> anyway, nice job on getting them out of there. They were throwing out some impressive biotic power. Good. We could use some heavy hitters in the biotics department. It'll be good for them, too. Biotics face a lot of discrimination. Maybe if they save the galaxy, people will get over their issues. I agree. I didn't expect you to be sensitive about that. Hey, I'm just tired of them stealing the spotlight from people with actual disabilities. I break ribs if I sneeze too hard. Being able to move crap with your mind is not a handicap. Commander. Okay. All right. Um. Um. Unread messages at your private terminal, Commander. Okay, sure. Um, feeling much better, Kid Nalinko. Hey, Shepard's still in the hospital, but I'm up on my feet eating solid food and making trouble for the nurses. They'll probably throw me out of here soon. Uh, come by if you're on the Citadel. Same room. Alright, I'll come by. Hi, Commander. I didn't have time to thank you properly after you got us out of the Academy, and the Admiral Hackett agreed to send this your way. While my students are out on duty, I'm doing what I can to help with the Crucible. It's an amazing project, more advanced than anything I've ever seen. Some of my more tech-minded kids are staying back to help out too, and watching them work it's the future, Commander. This project will inform human progress for generations, and they'll have you to thank for it. Commander, I heard about your stay with the Alliance. I can only imagine what nonsense they cooked up to keep you there. We should talk. It's safer to talk in person. Okay. I obviously ran into her before I read that. Um. Where am I? That is... Okay, I'm, like, trying to figure this out, guys. I really, really am. Yeah. So, it has a sensor over there. And I keep wanting to wazd, to say the least. Um, really... Okay, so it's getting smaller, larger. Larger. Really want to figure this out. Okay, so... Except I've never needed I feel like there should be something in the asteroid belt. But yeah, so it disappears there. Mm, it's gonna bug me. It's gonna bug me a lot, guys. Okay. <sighs> it 
see, I can't tell if part of it getting smaller is a good thing or a bad thing because I've definitely had it so that, um, like, it definitely does stuff. Or maybe that's just to tell me there's nothing there. I don't know. I don't know. And I'm filming this so far in advance that I will probably figure this out before um, this video ever gets posted. Um, because I'm actually like really addicted to playing this series now, which I never expected. Um, you know, I just didn't expect it at all. So, you know what? Screw it. I'm not gonna bother. Plot mass jump. I'm gonna go to the Citadel. Real quick. Say hi to Kaden, because I am gonna be a good former commander. Current commander. Friend. Former lover. Doc. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? The hospital? I need to get to the hospital. Yes, Commander. Mm, things still there? We are up and moving. Hey! Looking good! Hey, Shepard. If you came to spring me, you're late. I'm getting out soon. Hey! Good to hear. Maybe you already saw the vid, but I accepted Udina's offer. Spectre Kadenlenko. That's a big deal. Only the second human Spectre. <laughs> it's humbling. Udina thinks they may have a pretty big ceremony, even with the war. And he says a celebration will give folks something hopeful to latch on to. You ready to take on that responsibility? You set the bar pretty high, but <laughs> I'll do my best. It's strange. On Mars, I should have died. The promotion from Anderson, Spectre status. These are terrible days. But I've been lucky. You're perfect for the job. On Eden Prime, I could see there was something special about you. You're a good soldier. That means a lot. I'm happy. I want to serve. I thought you might want to join the Normandy. Yeah. I have thought about that. I just need to get out of here first, though. Take care of some things. I've been trying to locate my old spec op squads. My students from Biotics Division. Any luck? No. Probably went underground, but... They'll turn up. If they were easy to find, they wouldn't be doing their jobs. Well, let me know when you're out. Take care, Spectre Lenko. Stay safe, Commander. That's so weird to say. All right. The whole reason I came. Wait. What was the arrow? Hi. I overheard you talking. Grissom Academy is gone, but I found this while I was there. What is this? Yes, these are tailored to human physiology, but with a few alterations, they should work for the Asari as well. This is exactly what I needed. Thank you. Cool. Right, because there was that conversation about biotic amps earlier. Okay, cool. I I've done what I need to here. Unless... Welcome to Out of stock. Darn. Um, I tried. One moment, please. I'm not gonna do a whole lot of shopping because I have a plan. I have a plan and I'm gonna now stick to it. And Shepard already kind of hinted at the plan. Um, namely, I'm gonna go to Eden Prime. 
um, since I've had that mission for a while. I'm gonna head there. Oh, but mm, I also want to check with people. Oh, choices, choices, choices. Uh, no, okay. I also told myself I was going to talk to people more. Okay, this is one of the things I promised myself. They may not have anything new to say. One of the worst parts of this war is watching the kids react. Yep. If they're lucky, they grow up thinking the galaxy is basically a decent place. Some rough spots here and there, but for the most part, life makes sense. Now they find out it was all a lie. They wake up to see these things in the dark that just want to destroy everyone they ever cared about. If they survive, there'll be a lot of angry orphans out there looking for answers. Hmm, life just wouldn't have been complete if I didn't see Jack one more time. It's nice to see she's downgraded from dangerous lunatic to mildly insane. <laughs> You have to admit, looks like we beat Cerberus oh. again. Do you think the elusive man fires lieutenants over failures like this, or just lines them up against the wall and gets it over with? I didn't mean to interrupt your previous one. I wish they had had a Grissom Academy for Turians when I was growing up. Always wanted to learn how to paint. Now I mostly paint walls with Reaper blood. Not the same, but it's a living. So who needs their ass kicked now? Don't know yet. So, who needs their ass kicked now? I think more Cerberus people. I think it's Cerberus. That's you. The private messages terminal has new correspondence. They are? It was odd to see an entire academy just for biotic children. Donna, sorry. Feel free oh. to look around. Shit. Feel free to look around. I'm sorry, Liara. Um, call from Collie to Jack. Hey, Sanders, how checking on the kids? How are they, Jack? They'll do good. This is gonna be this is gonna be long. I got some, I kind of got crap to do. I wanted to tell you, I persuaded some of the Alliance friends to part with that biotic ant you and the children were testing at Grissom. You can pick it up at the cit Citadel. Damn, one of the L three X ones. You know how much shit I could tear up with one of those installed. Collie, I had an idea. Look after yourself. Yeah, yeah, and hey, thanks. <laughs> uh, David. You won't get this for a while unless you find an extranet connection working on Earth. I've made it out to this weapon we're building. The device isn't even halfway complete, and it's the most breathtakingly complicated piece of technology I've ever seen. I wish you could see this thing we're creating. It gives me hope. Take care, for my sake. Feel free to look around. Um... I didn't mean to interrupt you earlier. I gotta really be careful with that. No. Okay. Alright. I have... One more crew member? Oh. Oh, crap. Because I haven't really been talking to Edie. Vega? That Jack is a mean SOB. But kind of hot. If you like that sort of thing. I don't know. I think she's hotter now than she was in Mass Effect 2. Um, I think it's because she's figured out purpose. So, Anderson and Sanders. That's quite a couple. Huh. My dad's last name is Sanders. No relation. Yeah, that's because she took after her... I think her mother's side um because her father was his last name was grissom hey hey you know first guy to do a jump and the whole shebang is he not even here oh no he's over there hey Everything okay with the shuttle? Just double checking the inertia dampener coils. It can be twitchy in these UT 47s. But don't worry, this bird's been rock solid. I 
always see you down here working your ass off. Ever take any downtime? I get my sleep, Commander. Flying tired is nearly worse than flying drunk. What about your waking hours? Any R&R? &R? I need to keep myself busy. Otherwise, well, too much time to think. I appreciate your dedication, but I don't want to see you burn out. I know my limits. I wouldn't take a chance with your life. Shouldn't take a chance with yours. So before this war, you must have done something to relax. Sure. I remember back when the Hawking was based out of Arcturus and I was just a fighter jock. There was this observation deck overlooking the main flight paths. You could watch every ship taxi in and out. When I was alone, I'd turn off the auditory emulators and just watch them drift by in silence. You know there are views like that on the Citadel. Next time we're there, you should take some shore leave. Clear your head. I don't know. Maybe. Please? Take some time off on the Citadel, Steve. As a favor to me. If you put it that way, how can I say no? You can't. Take care of yourself. It's important. Says the person who does not take care of themselves under high stress. Um... All right, I'm going for it. Okay, diplomats it's in here. something. See, it's not even... Okay, great. Fuel I can't even use. Start scanner. A lot of things off to the left from where I start scanning. What'd I find? Prithian data files. Great. Wonderful. Enter orbit. Let's go to Eden Prime. Alright, we're gonna look at Prothean stuff. So yes, Liara, you should definitely be on this mission. I'm so glad that they already put you there. Okay, I, I need a heavy hitter, so... I'm gonna go with James. So that's a semi. That is the eviscerator. And that is the new one. No, that's the crusade. That's a semi. Which is what you currently have. Right, right. Nope. Way more accuracy. Oh. Yes, this one. Yeah. Nope. 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 Hang on. Go back. That. Thank you. Yeah. Confirm. Um. I'm good. You... Recharge speed or health and shield bonus. Um, let's go with recharge speed because that's way useful. Um, you. Uh, you know, health and shield for you. 
because I need you to last longer on the field. Eden Prime. This is where it all began. For us. Where the Prothean Beacon gave you the vision that warned us about the Reapers. And where you went up against Saren and the Geth for the first time, no? Yes. And now, with Cerberus here, Eden Prime's colonists are under attack again. Yeah, I know. Seems like more than just three years ago. How bad? Very. A lot of dead civilians. Lost one of my men, Jenkins, to a Geth drone. Reports that Saren had bombs set up to wipe out the whole colony. Yeah, I know. Not on my watch. Damn straight, Lola. Cerberus hit Eden Prime hard. Whatever they found here was worth a major offensive. There are survivors elsewhere on the colony, but they killed everyone near the dig site. Shit. They deserve better. I know. The Alliance did what it could to evacuate colonists, but Cerberus came in so quickly. If we find survivors, we'll do what we can. What about this artifact? Is it part of the Prothean device we found on Mars? The Alliance didn't get any specifics about what Cerberus has uncovered. But whatever it is, it's better off with us than with Cerberus. I'm bringing you in as close to the dig site as I can. No way Thanks, we'll avoid Steve. detection, but you should have a few minutes. Understood. All right, everyone, get ready to move. With luck, we can get to the dig site before Cerberus knows we're here. All right, let's hit the ground running. Survivors. Come on, we need to find the dig site. This was a beautiful colony once. They came back after the Geth attack. They'll come back from this. They grew up on ships. Lose one, you can always move to another. But you'd still remember. Actually, I really like my pistol. If you don't mind game. something for me to pick up. Processing update. We've taken more able-bodied men and women from pacified neighborhoods. The colonists generally have accepted the story that they have gone to perform tedious but safe mango labor in a Cerberus research camp on the other side of the planet. When we increased fruit rations as payment for the work, most of the complaints died out. Uh, maintain the story as long as possible. We don't have the manpower to fight the entire colony, and if these families knew that they were never going to see their sons and daughters again, there's no way they'd cooperate. Well, Shepard, shit. this Cerberus data could help the colonists still alive on other parts of Eden Prime. How? I can get this intel to Eden Prime's resistance. Maybe it will help them fight back against Cerberus. Do it. There. That's the elevator that leads down into the dig site. Okay. Goddess, that doesn't seem possible. It's not a Prothean artifact, it's... A Prothean. You mean a collector? Those things the Reapers turn the Protheans into? No, an original unmodified Prothean who's still alive. You're right. That doesn't sound possible. You saw Prothean stasis chambers in the archives on Ilos. The only reason those failed was a lack of power. Cerberus found this in an underground bunker. It still has power. He's been in stasis for the past 50,000 years, waiting for us. Think of what we could learn. What can you tell me about the Protheans? The people, not the technology. Given your experience with the Prothean Cypher, you probably know as much about them as I do. The Prothean Empire spanned the known galaxy. They uplifted countless other species to help them join the galactic community. 
Uplifted, huh? Like when the Solarians helped the Krogan to evolve a little... faster. Yes. Judging by the dig sites like the Prothean Archive on Mars or here on Eden Prime, the Protheans wanted other species to learn. It's clear that they prize knowledge, growth, and cooperation with the rest of the galaxy. The way you describe them, they sound a lot like the Asari. I'm certain I'm coloring their culture with my own perceptions. Whatever the Protheans were, finding one alive represents an incredible opportunity. Well then, good thing we brought our Prothean expert. I hope I can help. If this single Prothean was sent into stasis, he could be the foremost scientist of his time, or perhaps the wisest counselor. Ah. <sighs> Where the idiot Cerberus the damaged the life pod when they excavated it. The life signs are unstable. Then let's get him out of there. No, breaking open the pod would kill him. We have to find the command signal that ends the stasis mode. We also need to figure out how to physically open the pod without doing more damage. Cerberus took over the labs nearby to research what they found at the dig site. That's likely our best bet. Ash. Heads up! Get moving before more of them come back. Reload. Can't I take the whiskey? I know that's whiskey now. I've seen the bottle. Troop, tro troop deployment update. Local resistance is heavy in the south and west sections of the colony. We've pulled most of our troops from the north neighborhoods to assist. All remaining troops in the north neighborhood continue standard patrol activities to maintain the illusion of a large presence in that area. If the locals knew we were understaffed, they could do some serious damage. More intel to help the colonists. The more we find, the better chance they'll have. More salvage. Oh, I see. Don't go that way. That's a long drop. Alright. Where the hell am I going? Sorry, Liara. Down.
Okay. footage of the Protheans. Cerberus is studying it to figure out how to physically open the pod. Yep, well, we're gonna steal it. I've got a bad feeling about this. Why does it say warning? What's with the eyes, Shepard? interpreting data. Those were already harvested Protheans. How many have we lost? Reaper forces have destroyed approximately 300,000 life pods. Damn. A third of our people. Alert! Broadside bulkhead cannot be sealed. Hostiles detected. Then all forces to the north. I think I can duplicate that to open the life pod. You understood that? Yeah. You didn't? No. All I saw was static. Cerberus was trying to make sense of it without success. The Prothean cipher you received on Pharos, it lets you see the images as a Prothean would, and understand their language. Whatever it does, I saw the video, and how they sealed the life pods. Perfect. Then we just need the signal they use to activate stasis mode. Okay. Alright, and I shall do that next time! Thank you all so much for tuning in, and in the meantime, in between time, take care, have fun, happy trails.